Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kravinsky's Tutorials. I've not been active for a while, I had food poisoning recently. Thank God I'm finally getting better, it's been mild but it lasted a long time. I'm also not using my normal mic today. So, I just want to take a quick look at something related to Harmony Bloom. Because in the desktop version, you have this option to um, send out MIDI on different channels and stuff, I believe. But there's nothing like that in the iOS version. So today in the Audiobus forum, someone was asking, a guy called Kashi, guy, girl, I don't know, was asking, what can I do? You know, how could I send out MIDI using just one instance of Harmony Bloom? How could I send that out to control different instruments? Like here I'm sending to a couple of different piano tech instances. So we've got this pianet. And that's that. And then here we've got this lovely harp. And it's all just coming from this one instance of Harmony Bloom, but they're, they're playing different things, right? So this is just to show you a setup doing that using MIDI gates. Now I'll also mention I did do a detailed 30 minute spoken walkthrough on Harmony Bloom on my Patreon. I really, really need support on the Patreon guys because of how niche what I'm doing is. YouTube ad revenue is just next to nothing. So yeah, there's full walkthrough on Harmony Bloom there. So this video is just going to look at this setup using MIDI gates. Now I'm also sending these through a few instances of Rosetta Scalar. That's not really necessary for what we're doing today. Now I've also got Sequence AU keys. That's going into this other instance of Piano Tech with a Steinway loaded. Now remember Piano Tech is a free app and even if you don't buy any of these instruments, there's really generous demo. You can play all of the paid instruments like these ones. And there are just a few notes basically missing in every instrument that you can't play. So then, you know, you could um, jam over the top of something like Harmony Bloom in this. Now I don't have MIDI keyboard set up today, but obviously that's going to be a lot better for playing that kind of thing than this on-screen keyboard. But just to give a little hint of that, jamming possibilities over something like this. So let's first just open up the routing matrix in AUM. And it looks pretty complicated, right? but it's not really all that complicated. So let's look in another way. So if we click here on AUM, on this first piano tech, which was the pianet, um, you can see this is receiving from this first instance of Rosetta Scalar. So then if we go over to that, we can see what it's receiving from. So it's receiving from the first instance of MIDI gates. and MIDI Gates is receiving from Harmony Bloom. Okay, so basically Harmony Bloom is going into this MIDI Gates and this one. And let's look at the difference between those. So I've set it up here that uh, the first instance is only going to 
let through uh, these notes and this instance is going to only let through these notes from F sharp up to the B so here I've got it set that it's letting through 100% of the notes but I could thin these out so if you remember uh, the first one is the, the pianet okay this one so I could just put all of these down to 50% and we'd get a lot less pianet now if I start bringing down these ones then we're also going to start getting less harp So then there are all kinds of different decisions that we could make, like, for example, I could let G notes come through on both. Some background traffic noise there. So we could put through a lot of Ds and Gs. And we could play around until we get a balance of that that we like. And we could just completely uh, reverse the weighting. So if you remember originally, uh, this instance of MIDI gates was letting through uh, this first bunch of notes and this one was letting through uh, this last bunch of notes. So we could change it so that this one is letting through the er earlier notes here in the octave and this one lets through later ones. And again, we can just maybe bring in a little bit of... Maybe we could let all of them play a little bit of everything. So MIDI Gates is such a useful app for this kind of thing. Now if we look at Scalar uh, here, um, this is pitching down the pianet, so it's down two octaves, 24 semitones. Now, I have not um, set this up to a scale here, so I could try, for example, D major. And now the reason I've chosen D major is that, um, well, this is using a note collection called Mario Notes, but uh, just from my own experiments on the keyboard. I quite like this over it. So here, if we adjust the input in Rosetta Scalar, everything will stay within D major. Now, remember this Mario notes, I have not really sat down and worked out what it's sending out, but it's not exactly D major, but they work well enough. So 
here just transposing the input of the first Rosetta Scaler. Now I've got two videos on these Rosetta Scaler apps. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to show. How you can use MIDI gates to send out MIDI from one instance of Harmony Bloom or any sequencer into different apps. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now MIDI gates has different ways that you can do that. So you can just let it gate notes just based on probability. And so here it will not do any kind of filtering by what note it is. There's just going to be 40% note, 40% chance of any given note getting through. And here we're filtering by each note. And here it will filter based on note order. So you can see it's cycling through these eight steps, we can change the number of steps. And so that's another way we could do it. So this one actually really works very nicely for this as well, doesn't it? By setting a high probability on step five in both of these, we're getting um, something a bit more electronic and robotic sounding. Something like this, a bit more organic. And here it's just passing all the MIDI through. And of course you could have one instance set up to be using one of these filter types and the other one using a different filter type. Okay, so there you go everyone, hope you enjoyed that, and do give the video a thumbs up and so on if you did, please join us on Patreon if you can, and uh, yeah, enjoy this app, it's such a fantastic MIDI generator. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.